So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you. Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about how you can use AutoGen with local LLMs using Olama. So uh, if you don't know about AutoGen, AutoGen is basically a multi-agent orchestration framework which has features of auto GPT also. So it can create files, execute code also, and it can create multiple AI agents team to solve a particular task. Talking about Olama, Olama is a software that enables you to access local LLMs into your system. So basically for using Olama, I've already discussed a complete video how you can download the software. You just need to Google search Olama. You will get the exe file. You need to download it install it and then run olama run the model name that is available and eventually it gets downloaded and then very easy to use you can check out my previous video in this particular case i will be demonstrating how you can use olama local models with autogen so first of all you need to pip install a package called as light llm that i've already discussed in my previous video on autogen plus hugging face also separately as well so uh, do watch it out the uh, the codes almost remain the same uh, what we need to do here is we need to run this particular command light llm model then olama slash llama2 so basically uh, this model flag will help us to create a proxy server for this particular model llama2 olama is as a prefix has been added for identification purposes so for example if you have a server that is running hugging face api the other server proxy server is running olama so in that case and both are serving the same model so in that case the prefix would be helpful so now if I click on this, this might take some time, but eventually we'll see that light LM is able to create a proxy server for this model and then host it. Light LM is very, very useful in such cases as uh, it is helping in unification of the models. As I've already discussed in my previous video on what is light LLM, you can check that out as well. Uh, so once a common interface is created you don't need to change anything in your code for using different types of model from different uh, providers here you can see that you got a local host address now i won't be as you can see that uh, as the inferencing for local llms is very very slow i won't be running this code but i've already ran this code so that we can run this, we can complete this video in short but everything remains same so how to run autogen using olama the code remain exactly same as we discussed in autogen uh, with hugging face there is no changes at all so you need to again set up the autogen use docker as no uh, you need to provide the base url which is the same as localhost 4000 port so if you are not running multiple proxy servers in that case the, the location remains the same if you are using multiple proxy servers then the location will change so you need to keep that in mind I have set up a timeout variable here because local inferencing is very, very slow, at least for my system. And eventually at times you will get a read timeout issue. So in that case, I've set this timeout. Still, I will show you that I will go. I got a timeout issue eventually because inferencing is very slow with models like Llama 2 in this old system. So if you also having the same issue, do set this variable timeout. Then uh, you need to provide this config list into the LM config. That's how the code remains the same as I've already discussed in the previous video assistant agent providing the lm config user proxy agent providing the termination message setting human input mode is never so that you don't need to input things because basically in uh, autogen the two agents that you're using assistant agent and user proxy agent assistant agent is ran by llms and user proxy agent expects human input so uh, for every output generated by the assistant you need to provide an input whether the input was correct and whatever are the guiding lines for the further development if you want to skip that, if you want to run it in full auto mode, you need to set this variable as never. Consecutive auto replies is five, and then initiate chat, providing it a, a whatever you want to do. So as I already told in my previous video, the best part is user proxy agent can detect code and execute them as well. So assistant agent would be generating codes and user proxy would be detecting the language it is written in and then eventually execute that also giving you the output straight away. So in this particular case, as you can see, as I've already uh, ran it using Llama 2, you can see that I'm getting the output print string, the code snippet written by the assistant agent. Eventually, we'll see that uh, this particular red line executing code block zero inference language is Python. This is done by the user agent. It is executing the code. 
now it is throwing some error here that there are some issues in the code that we will check out later because see the output of any framework will depend upon the llm that you are using the uh, framework won't be magically improving your llm so at the core it's always the llm so uh, if the codes are wrongly written it's because of the llm that is getting used if you use a good quality llm uh, that is specialized for writing codes the result would be better this is how you can run autogen using uh, local llms using olama thank you so much